For this program, we will look at how to receive data that has already been sent from another microbit. So what we'll need to look at is in part one video demonstration on sending data, we looked at setting up a group ID. In order for this microbit to be able to receive the information that has been sent, we are gonna to have to set up a group ID that is gonna allow those two microbits to communicate. If the group ID is set up correctly, we should be able to receive that information. We will receive using two different numbers that are going to trigger an event on our microbit. In part one, we looked at sending two numbers, the number three and the number five. In this case, we're gonna look at if the number three is received, we're gonna to wanna to display a smiley face emoji on our microbit. If the number five is received, we're gonna use a simple clear screen to clear that smiley face from our microbit. So the first thing we'll look at doing is setting up the group ID so that we can communicate with one another. So again, when the program starts, so we're gonna to go to basic, and we're gonna find an on start event handler. We are going to go to radio and we'll set up that group ID. And in part one of a video demonstration, we use the radio set group 19. Any micro bit that is setting a, setting a group to the number 19 will now be able to communicate with one another. Now that our groups are set and a micro bit can communicate, we need at looking at how to actually receive this information. In your radio drawer, you'll find that there is an on radio received number. So anytime a number is sent, our micro bit will trigger something to happen from that event handler. We'll be using conditional statements to identify which numbers we want to perform or to receive information from. So we're gonna select our on radio receive number. Now, when we look at our on radio receive number, what we'll notice is that in the variable drawer, we have now created a variable by bringing in that event handler. That variable is going to be important in order to receive the correct numbers. So here we have two different conditions that we're going to be looking at. If the number five is received or if the number three is received. So we're going to go to our logic statement and we're going to want to grab an if statement. So this will be our first condition. And we want to look at what happens if we receive the number three. So we're going to go ahead and use another logic and a comparison block that is an equal to. So now we are saying if zero is equal to zero, something should happen. Now we know that if we receive the correct number, we should see a smiley face. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the show icon and we'll switch that to a smiley face. So now we have, if we receive the number zero is equal to zero, we are gonna see a nice smiley face on our micro bit. We want to be able to receive the number three. So in order for this to happen, we are gonna to have to go to our variable drawer and grab our variable receive number. So if we receive that number, which is equal to the number, in this case, three, we will see a smiley face occur on our micro bit. Now, in order for the second condition to take place, we're gonna go ahead and add an else if statement. So if we hit the plus sign, you're gonna notice that we get an else. We don't want an else because that means if it receives any other number other than the number three, something will happen. We wanna be able to receive a specific number in this case. So we'll hit the plus sign again to get our else if, which allows us to input a condition into the actual event handler. We can go ahead and hit the minus sign next to the else and that will get rid of it. Now, just like above, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate. Our receive number is equal to three. And we'll drop that into our condition. From here, else if we receive the number and it is equal to the number, in this case, five, what we want to have happen is our micro bit clear the screen. So we'll go ahead up to basic. We're gonna select more and bring that clear screen into our program. So now all our micro bit is essentially doing is receiving data. It has no ability to send any information out. It only can receive data that is being sent to it. In this case, if that group ID is set to 19 and it does receive the number three, we can see a smiley face appear on our micro bit. If it receives the number five, we have the ability to reset the micro bit and clear the screen. 